All right, guys, we have got our mini preview and season win total predictions here for the New York Jets. This is episode 24 as we go through the entire NFL into the last quarter here. Um, over under nine and a half, minus 122 to the over, plus 100 to the under. We're going to go under here for the New York Jets. Um, so let's jump into it. Head coach Robert Sala seems like he's going to be a good coach, is a good coach. Um, don't see any issues here. Offensive coordinator is Hackett, who um, I think the game's gone by him a little bit. Obviously, last year he had all that crazy stuff going on in Denver. But just from a play calling standpoint, I think it's gone by him just a little bit. Um, DC, Jeff Ulbrich, Sala's doing most of the defensive work. Um, but he helps out, you know, it is how it is at defensive coordinator. Um, so, uh, you know, if Sala can keep the defense in its place from last year, it's going to be really good. Simple as that. Hackett is the unknown here. Um, but we can jump into the roster. Aaron Rodgers is the guy who knows Hackett. Um, it's, he says it's similar offensively to what it's been, you know, a couple new things here and there. So we'll see what the offense is like. I worry. Um, just from a play calling standpoint. Rodgers, though, a um, bit unfair treatment last year, I thought. He was obviously hurt late on in that season. Um, but also, this is a veteran coming into a new system. Maybe not a new system system, but a new team, new players. Um, it has yet to really work out comfortably for much of anybody. Um, so we'll see if it works out for Rodgers here. This defense should be good, so I'm not sure they have to light the scoreboard up. Um, but they will need to score some points, obviously. So we'll see. Obviously, this is an upgrade from what they were dealing with last year. Offensive line is okay when healthy. Um, Becton, one of those guys who needs to stay healthy. He's also playing at right tackle, which isn't his spot necessarily. Um, so I worry there. Um, Dwayne Brown getting older, coming off an injury as well at left tackle. Um, not a ton of depth behind either. Um, and that's a worry at bookend, especially when... Uh, especially when those are the most important positions on your line. One injury can get you, and there are two players who are not exactly playing brilliantly the last year or two. Uh, Vera Tucker is great, elite, you know, everything you can say. Tomlinson's okay at left guard and a rookie at center with Tipman. So um, a variety of spots where this could kind of go wrong, and it's probably the weakest unit on the, uh, on the uh, offense, at least. Running back room pretty good if Brees Hall is healthy if he comes back 100% he's obviously very very good um Michael Carter's not too bad behind him they're maybe negotiating with Dalvin Cook I'm not sure how that'll work out uh Dalvin Cook is good but not um elite elite like he's been he was very un inefficient last year it's just uh he's not as important as you might think uh, the most important piece here is Brees Hall if he is healthy wide receiver room um Garrett Wilson, obviously, budding star, it feels like um, he'll hope to take that step this year. Rest of the team, rest of the wide receiver room is okay. Corey Davis, Alan Lazard, Hardman is quick, pacey, um, but it's not necessarily uh, tons of great players here. There's a lot of 2.5s, it feels like. So um, we'll see. You know, Cobb's also on his team. You like that safety blanket for uh, Aaron Rodgers. Brownlee's having a good camp, it feels like. So we'll see wide receiver-wise. Um, but, you know, it's Wilson and everyone else. Wilson needs to take that jump. Otherwise, this could all of a sudden be a average type of room if he doesn't take that all-star jump. So we'll see. Uh, tight end room is solid. Conklin, solid. Uzoma, solid. Simple as that. Uh, Kuntz is interesting, so we'll see. Um, he was interesting coming out. We'll see if they use him at all or if he kind of makes an impact. He's an interesting player, but just all around a solid, if not unspectacular, room. Defensive line, solid. Uh, Quinn Williams in the middle is obviously really, really good. Just got paid, um, and he dominates inside. Um, they also have a couple of options they can go on pass rush downs. Quentin, John, uh, Quentin Jefferson can come in. Um, they also have Al Woods to help deal with the run blocking. So you can run a variety of different packages here depending on the down and the situation. Um, but hopefully Al Woods just helps with the run. Uh, the run defending last year was not very good. And they'll need to take a jump this year. Um, edge is good and deep. Uh, Myers and Carl Lawson are both very good. Um, 
and behind them, two first round picks, Jermaine Johnson, Will McDonald this year. So it's a good line and deep all along. So they should be rotating and healthy and fresh as the season goes along, barring, you know, cluster injuries here. Uh, linebacker is the worst unit on the team. Uh, CJ Mosley is last year he played okay and that was his best year in a bit. Um, Quincy Williams is just not good and he looks like he's going to pair up with him. It's just not a good unit and I worry that teams are just going to exploit the middle of the field here. Lots of short and quick passes um, is something I worry about with this unit. Um, and the secondary is elite though it drops a little bit with uh, Amos coming in for Clark. Um, it's a shame that he is out for the year but Amos is solid but not at his level um, Whitehead solid also in the safety room so the safety room is solid if not unspectacular again um, and the corner group this is what makes the group obviously Sauce, Reed, Michael Carter they were all excellent last year Sauce is scary to think what taking a step would be for him um, Reed and uh, Michael Carter were both excellent at two and three also so if Sauce can stay healthy, if they can all stay healthy, this should be a really, really good corner room. Um, and they'll hope to repeat what they did last year. And <laughs> that'll be probably enough to carry this defense because the line is good. Um, as I said, I just worry about the middle of the field. It's, it's just a worry, frankly. Um, schedule, though. In the first six, brutal. Buffalo at Dallas, New England, um, Kansas City at Denver, Philadelphia, They'll hope to come out of that at three and three. I'm not sure they do. I'm really, as a better, I'm kind of looking forward to at Dallas. I think Dallas uh, beats them. Um, we hoping to get two and a half there. And uh, then you get Buffalo and New England surrounding Dallas too. It's difficult in division. Then Kansas City at Denver at altitude and then Philadelphia. So the two Super Bowl participants surrounded by a trip to mile high. It is a brutal, brutal first six. They get a bye after that. But if this team is one in five going into the bye, are you super surprised? Probably not. Uh, then again, as we said, three and three here is something they'd probably love and take right now. Three and three is good. Um, but one in five is not something that's out of the realm of possibility it feels like then you come out of the bye playing the giants um at the or home to the chargers then at las vegas at buffalo and miami um miami's gonna be good buffalo's gonna be good this division obviously is great if you can split in division this year at three and three you've probably done really well um considering um then your you know chargers are gonna be good away to las vegas um, and then you got Atlanta, Houston, winnable, winnable, at Miami again, Washington, then at Cleveland, at New England. Cleveland should be better. New England are always tough and tend to beat the Jets in weird uh, variety of ways. But there are three games there that you'd like them to win, Atlanta, Houston, and Washington. Those are winnable games. So if they go into the bye three and three and come out, there are winnable games all over. Giants, um, Raiders, Chargers at home, you feel like, Miami at home, Atlanta, Houston, Washington at home, you feel like they could win, should win probably. So there are spots here to get wins. It's that first six. You come out of that three and three, you're in a pretty good position the rest of the year. You come out of that one and five, it's an uphill battle in, in a division that's very, very difficult. So we're going to go under nine and a half, plus 100. Um, tomorrow, we'll have a new team.